It is a method of producing mims by depositing, patterning, and etching a sequence of thin films, typically in the range 1 to 100 micrometer thick. In contrast to the bulk micro machining, surface micro machining builds the structures on the silicon surface by depositing thin films of sacrificial layers and structural layers, and eventually the mechanical structures are formed by removing the sacrificial layers. Hence this process is usually involves films of two different materials. By a structural material, freestanding structure is made, that is generally polysilicon, polycrystalline silicon, silicon nitride, and aluminium. And a sacrificial material is deposited wherever either an open area or freestanding mechanical structure is required that is generally an oxide. The figure below shows the processes needed in surface micro machining that illustrates a simplified fabrication of a polysilicon slider with a central rail. This design requires two layers of structural polysilicon and sacrificial oxide. Figura illustrates the first sacrificial oxide layer and how the deposition and patterning of the first polysilicon layer have been completed. Figures B and C shows the deposition of second sacrificial oxide layer together with the free etching of the anchor openings through the oxide. The next step is the deposition and patterning of the second polysilicon layer which is followed by the removal of the sacrificial oxide used to release the structure. The major advantage of surface micro machining is that there is no constraint on the miniaturization of the devices fabricated other than those raised by the limitation in the lithography technology. Also, structurally complex mechanical systems, including freestanding or movable parts can be created by stacking multiple layers of material. In addition, surface micro machining offers a high degree of compatibility with IC processing. But the main drawback of surface micro machining is that it is thin film technology that creates basically two dimensional structures 